What's going on guys, this is Snoof603 and Fake Thriller, and welcome to another episode of our Battlefield 3 weapon reviews. Today, we're looking at the MG36. The MG36 is available for the support class only. It is unlocked after completing the assignment titled Keep Your Head Down from the Back to Karkin DLC, which requires you to get 100 kills with LMGs, 50 suppression assists, and 50 ammo resupplies. A little bit of weapon info for you on the MG36. The place of origin is Germany. The magazine capacity is 50 rounds plus one in the chamber. The fire rate is 750 rounds per minute. The fire type is full auto, burst fire, and semi-automatic. The reload time is 3.0 seconds with a bullet chambered or 4.7 seconds if you run the magazine completely dry. And the damage for the MG36 is 25 hit points of damage per bullet at eight meters and trails down to a minimum of 18.4 hit points of damage per bullet at a maximum of 50 meters. The MG36 is one of the most often requested weapon reviews from you guys, and now that we're finally getting around to it, you'll either respect our opinion or flat out hate us. Judging by the amount of requests we've had for this gun, I went into it expecting it to be a good weapon. That couldn't be any farther from the truth. What stands out most to me about the MG36 is the spread and vertical recoil. Compared to other assault type support weapons like the M27 or the RPK, it has the highest vertical recoil of them all. Only the true big boy LMGs have a higher vertical recoil. On top of that, the spread on the MG36, while hip firing or even aiming down sights, is horrendous. The spread pattern while aiming down sights is literally off the charts. The only good things I can say about this gun is that the reload times are respectable given for a support weapon, and the recoil is somewhat manageable while in burst mode. But preferred attachments are the holographic sight, the bipod, and the flash suppressor. If you're not using the bipod, then I recommend aiming at the feet of those you want to engage, as the high vertical recoil will push the gun straight up and will hopefully give you the best chance of getting your shots on target. In all honesty, the only gun that is worse than this is the Type 88. I'm going to give the MG36 a 2 out of 5. The only slight saving grace is that this gun with bipod and burst mode will give you a decent chance against your enemies, and it has respectable loading times. With that said, it's still one of the worst guns in this game, and the second worst in the support class. Your time will be better spent avoiding these two guns and using any other support weapon. As Snoo said, statistically speaking, on paper, the MG36 should match up with the other light support weapons. However, after using this weapon, I can honestly say that it has a severe flaw, and that flaw is the bullet spread. Everyone can agree that for the highest possible accuracy, burst firing is the way to go. However, it isn't uncommon to need to go full auto when attempting to lock down a choke point or when firing at a group of enemies. The MG36 has recoil and bullet spread that makes it almost unusable. There have been times when I have fired full auto at an enemy only for him to turn and put me down with only sustaining minimum damage. Now some would argue that the best way to use the MG36 is away from the front lines doing your best to lock down chokes or other important areas. The problem with this is the MG36 only deals assault rifle level damage. This means you'll rarely get the kill from farther than medium range. All in all, the MG36 is simply outclassed by other weapons offered to the support kit. The horrible bullet spread combined with the insane recoil and a long reload time makes this gun very difficult to use. I'm rating the MG36 a 1 out of 5. I hope to see DICE show this weapon some love in the future. If they match the bullet spread to that of the M27 or the RPK, it could be very useful. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up yet another Shoosty Bang Battlefield 3 weapon review. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, the MG36 has earned 1.5 out of 5 stars. And as always, we're interested to know what you guys think of this weapon, so leave us a comment and tell us what you would rate it and why. And also, if you could rate the video with either a like or a dislike, we would appreciate it. And finally, if you're interested to see what we think of the other weapons of Battlefield 3, check the description for a link that will take you to the entire playlist. Thanks for watching.